Hi, second graders, Miss Shannon here. I am here for lesson two of our narrative writing unit. Today, we are going to be story planning. So we're not going to be writing just yet. We have to make a plan. Remember that the stories we are going to be writing are personal narratives. Personal narratives are stories that are events or experiences that have happened to you in your life. You will be the main character in your story. So remember, on Tuesday, you filled out your heart map, filling your heart with memories from your life of important events that had a strong feeling for you. This was an example of my heart map and a few events from my life that I felt like were important to me. Today, you are going to watch how I choose the story I'm going to write about and how I plan my story. So let's take a look at my examples. When I look back at my memories, one that really stands out to me that I can remember the most details about is building the sandcastle with my brother when we were on vacation. So I'm going to choose building a sandcastle. Now, just because I choose that story topic doesn't mean that I can't write about some of my other story topics later. That's why we have our heart map. Whenever we finish one story, we can always go back to this heart map to choose our next topic, okay? So if you have a really difficult time choosing between a few story ideas, don't worry. Choose one now and you can write about another one later. I'm going to choose to write about building a sandcastle. Now it's time to plan our story. I am going to model what you will also be doing, okay? Our first step is to choose a memory and think back to that time. So I have chosen my memory, which is building sandcastles with my brother. And now I need to think back to that time, put myself in that memory. Where were we? Uh, what did it look like? What did it feel like? What sounds did I hear? What smells were there? Really think back and get into that memory. The more you can remember, the more details you can add in your writing. So when I think back to my memory, I remember we were at Lake Chelan, which is where my family used to go every summer. And we, it seemed like we had the whole beach to ourselves, my brother and I, and of course my parents. Um, and when we first got to the beach, we laid our beach towels out on the sand and we looked out at the lake. So that's what I remember doing. And then we grabbed all of our buckets and sand toys from our beach bag um, and started just scooping sand into the buckets, filling them up until they were almost so heavy with like wet sand that it was hard to pick up. Um, especially as a little kid, sometimes those sand um, castle buckets can get pretty heavy. So I remember that and um, stacking them to get it so perfect. And at the end, standing back to see our amazing big sand castle. So I'm thinking back to that time, like remembering how heavy the bucket was, what it looked like outside. So think about your memory. Think back to that time. What details can you remember? Okay, hold on to those details. Step two, you are going to use three fingers to tell the beginning, the middle, and the end of your story out loud. That helps in planning what to write. So I will tell my story across three fingers. First, my family and I got to the beach laid out our beach towels. Second, my brother and I started filling up sandcastle buckets with sand and water. I'm going back and forth from the water to um, our sandcastle area. And third, our sandcastle was finished and we stepped back to look at it. So my story has a clear beginning, middle, and end. All right. Also notice that my story did not last an entire day. 
or an entire week, I focused in on one small moment that probably was an hour at most. So really thinking back to one small moment. After you have thought about what you would say for the beginning, the middle, and the end, you're going to click on Flipgrid and you're going to retell your story to me on Flipgrid across your three fingers on video. Now here's the thing, second graders. Your classmates will not see this video. Okay, um, I have changed the settings for Flipgrid. So I am the topic moderator and I will be the only one um, that will see your story in case you are worried about your classmates hearing or you're not quite sure about what you want to say yet. Just know that Miss Shannon is the only one who will be able to view it. Okay, um, so thinking about your story across three fingers, the beginning, the middle, and the end. And you're going to click on the Flipgrid link and tell me your story. After you have told your story across three fingers, you're going to use your draft paper to make a sketch to match the beginning, middle, and end. You are just drawing today. You are not writing. Also, there is a difference between a sketch and a picture, okay? A sketch is a quick drawing. It doesn't have a lot of details. This sketch is just meant to help jog your memory when it is time to go back and write. Let me show you my example. This is my draft page. And you remember I told you my story across three fingers. So this is the beginning when my family got to the beach and laid out our beach towels. I'm gonna zoom in. You can see I just have the water, the sun, and the sand with our beach towels. So not a lot of detail, but enough to help jog my memory to remind myself what I was going to say in the beginning. Page two, the middle of my story. I drew some buckets, a scooper, a sand bucket, and then sand being poured into the bucket. Again, not a lot of detail, just a quick sketch. Um, you don't have to be the best drawer. I know this doesn't look too great and that's okay, but it helps remind me of my story ideas. And lastly, our sand castle in all its glory and um, stick figure friends, because again, it is a sketch. It does not need to be um, a picture drawing. No, notice I'm not using any colors. It is just with pencil. Okay, save all of your colors and really great details for your final copy. This is just your draft paper. Um, so I've got some stick figures there and the sun is shining and our sand castle is complete. So that is how you are going to plan or your story. Be able to tell your story idea out loud in order and draw a sketch, the beginning, middle, and end. Okay, you're gonna click on that link and go to Flipgrid to tell me your story idea, really focusing on a beginning, a middle, and an end. I can't wait to hear all of your fabulous story ideas, second graders. See you soon.